This is Naval Station Newport. Here at Callahan Hall, officer candidates are learning naval sciences and systems. But there is a critical need for stronger interpersonal communication skills. That gap is now addressed by a new tool, the Immersive Naval Officer Training System, INOTS. INOTS builds those critical skills from three components. A solid instructional design using an existing classroom and a single instructor, a deliberate practice environment with a state-of-the-art mixed reality simulator, and a real-time, data-driven after-action review. Together, they provide the structure and tools needed to teach, practice, and assess these vital interpersonal skills. The first key component is the instructional design. This is a very complex skill. You know, the Navy is really good at describing what important interpersonal skills are and why they're important. But what they lack is a structured environment for teaching and practicing those skills. The INOTS platform delivers universal rules that give all officers, regardless of personality or background, a solid leadership foundation. Say this petty officer who now is in not the best mental state wasn't doing his work as well. Well, that diminishes the capability of the ship. The instructional design is founded by empirical research and doctrine and guided by SME input. That solid framework is reinforced through the innovative use of story and short animations that provide concrete demonstrations for how to employ each skill. Car payment is 700 a month. Holy crap, Reddick. Did you buy the Batmobile? The result is an accessible, engaging classroom experience. But mastering these skills requires a deliberate practice environment. The traditional way of teaching interpersonal skills using live role players has a problem. You're not able to control the practice environment. With INOTS, we take one live role player and replace that person with a virtual human. Across the hall from the classroom is the Digital Immersive Virtual Environment, or DIVE. The students enter an interactive simulator to practice real-world communication skills in a virtual environment. Okay, so Chief told me you pushed uh, GM3 Thomas. Everyone's getting on my case, but I didn't start this. Thomas did. This is GM2 Jacob Cabrillo, designed to act and react like a real human. Cabrillo is actually a completely software-driven character, capable of recognizing speech and automatically reacting based on what is said to him. So, uh, you a Padres fan? Actually, I'm a Dodgers fan. Unlike a human role player, the virtual human provides a consistent interaction for practice, observation, and feedback, day after day, in class after class. Up to 50 participants can engage with the dive experience, even without entering the simulator. Across the hall in the classroom, they watch the live feed and log their own responses. This way, the entire class is practicing the interpersonal communication skills they have learned. The result is a consistent practice environment and a structured feedback mechanism so an instructor can lead the students through an after-action review focusing on each skill. The after-action review uses the group experience of the dive as a basis for further teaching. In real time, the instructor gets feedback from the entire class, allowing him to lead a discussion and conduct an effective AAR. A lot of us picked the yellow on the pie graph, the caution answer. What we wanted to go with here was you pushed him because he was joking about you. That asks the question and makes sure that we're getting all the information that we can glean out of this conversation. Together, the solid instructional design, deliberate practice environment, and focused AAR make up the INOTS platform. In its initial deployment at OTCN, INOTS has put through hundreds of new officers, and preliminary studies indicate a high level of engagement and skill improvement. Furthermore, INOTS gathers and logs information every time a class uses the system. The result, hard metrics that help instructors focus and improve the training the longer it is in use. INOTS is already making a difference. GM2 Cabrillo may be a virtual character, but the leadership skills this officer leaves with are very real. Well, pushing him was you know, it definitely wasn't the right answer. You know what, sir? I get it.